What are you doing here? Oh, the content warnings, right. You know, I swear I just did that. But all my videos need content warnings. Anyway, content warning four. Misogyny, possessive and controlling behavior, stalking, manipulation, haunting Adeline, infantilization and pedophilia, unhealthy relationships and sexual content as well as probably a solace of other just in case. And maybe next time you can find me and bother me when I'm not doing my job in the library. Thanks. Oh, also, I have membership tier for $3, and at 15k subs, I'm going to be answering all of your crazy on my biggest questions, no matter how crazy. Clearly, don't value my life, yeah, 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 all like this stuff. Now get out of here before- Avalon, uh, Avalon, where are you? Dude. Get out of here before he finds- Oh, Avalon, there you are. I need your help. Dad gave me a mission, and I don't want to do it by myself, so. Let's go. Yep, I'm coming, Jesus. Hold just- Underlay, underlay, please. Read it later. With the quickness now, come on. Enjoy. Hey guys, welcome to Purgatory. Purgatory. And we're here because I keep my promises and I promised it to you in the last video. I promised this video to you in the last video, so here we are. And yet, here we are. I was thinking about putting it off just a little bit because I'm like, I just promised it. But honestly, I've been thinking about it quite often because I... I need the cringe, just like the cringe needs me, okay? Do we think, and put the vote in now, don't watch the video and then put the vote in, do we think we're going to be seeing some book talk and bike talk weddings? Or at least one. Put the vote in now. You can edit the comment later to say if you were right or wrong, but put it in now. Is that a biker boy? There's no way, I've never seen one in real life. Oh my god, I have to go follow him. Should I sneak a video of his bike? Oh my god. Why are we treating this man like an animal? Is this a zoo? Is this like a zoo for horny women or something? Horny, like, book talk women? And they're like, I've never seen one in real life before. I have to follow him. I should get a picture of his bike. Like, I, this is probably a joke, right? But like, dude, imagine if it's not a joke. Just because he rides a bike. Just because they're like, that looks like a male. That looks like he has a penis. And he rides a bike and that's all I need. And that's all I need. That's crazy to me. While that was funny and cute and clearly a joke, the sad part is, is that it, it's like a joke or like, like satire or whatever. Because it's all so real. Because of the whole bad boy trope. They're in love with the bad boy trope, which makes sense because they're book talk girlies. Uh, that, that's what they love. Because you see, it's Wattpad and then book talk girly. No one talks about the Wattpad to book talk girly pipeline. <laughs> Not haunting Adeline! Haunting Adeline? Out of all of the books you could have for bike, t for like book talk, to like pander to book talk, or just even just read books that are in book talk, why is it always haunting Adeline? It's so strange. But like tattoos and protective men. But like, why do you care? I have an unhealthy obsession with bikers, holy moly. With what? What about, do, but what about having an unhealthy obsession with people who drive cars? Like, I don't understand the difference. I have an unhealthy obsession with bus drivers. <laughs> Wait, like on the bike? I don't know, I just thought that like if you have a bike, you probably would care about the bike a little bit more than to be doing that on it. Um, on the bike? What did the bike ever do to you? Imagine you're on a date with someone. Imagine being on a date with someone and they do this. Hey, sorry that I'm late. I stood over here as fast as I could. Oh, it's all good. I'm just glad you're able to get here. Everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, everything's good. Great. I was just, um, <laughs> haunting the, um, Girl named, uh, Adeline. Anyway, uh, have you been waiting long? Oh, no, not at all. Only, like, an hour and a half. Please, have a seat. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way that you did that. I swear. What, you really think I'd lie to you like that? Don't you trust me? <laughs> Sir, I just... I just met you. 
What do you say we get out of here? Get a change of scenery. Oh. Okay. We'll take my bike. Your bike? Is that a problem? I I just didn't know that you had a bike. N now that I think about it, I, I should have known. You're, you're such a bad boy. <laughs> you know it, baby. He has a bike. He has a bike and I'm riding on it right now, behind him with my hands around his waist. Oh my god, the leather jacket, the helmet covering his ugly ass face, the black clothes to obviously show everyone that he's such a bad boy. Maybe this bad boy needs a bad girl. Imagine if he was driving a bus, <gasps> steering that gigantic wheel and yelling at kids to stop eating in the back. Okay, okay, down girl. We'll work up to that kink later. This is only the first date. I'm just gonna get some gas real quick, you good? I'm great, thanks. You're so worked up. Don't deny it. It's clear in every movement of your body. You want me. <laughs> Jason, please. <laughs> what's wrong? Never mind, I know exactly what's wrong. And I have just the remedy. Jason, we can't, we're in public. Just slide your dress up a little bit for me. What? On the bike? Where else? On the bike, where bodily fluids will get all over the leather and all the parts that aren't supposed to wear bodily fluids. You want a cummy grimy bike? Don't worry, baby, I like the germs. <laughs> Getting COVID turns me on. That is perfect because I'm a book talk girl who loves to be put in her place and I love it when men who have no care for my well-being and only want to possess me, order me around and put me in dangerous situations. Well, we don't. Why wouldn't you ever even think that God, we that's would nasty. want that this oh my, is okay? Oh, why, what is going boo, on right now? Who does this in public? Am pub I actually oh God, I can't even look. I, watching I can't what's going on right now? Nice wow, we always to do this. Why would you even do Who's we? Got the book everybody's been talking about. Why don't we go inside and take a peek? What no. the f You guys genuinely enjoy reading this? You know what? This is actually pretty good. Ah! The pretty good book isn't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is the only thing I won't throw. I might throw you though. If you've been following the channel. For Ghost, what do you think about this? Haunting Adeline is so good. Loved haunting and hunting Adeline. This is the only thing I won't throw. <laughs> uh, do we, you know what? Do we need a refresher on what haunting Adeline's about? Once again, it's very, very telling, very, very telling. And you know what it's telling, that all the bike talk people that pander to book talk have Haunting Adeline, the worst book in the world. Two words, death penalty. Bike talk son or book talk daughter, the gun. My fries are getting cold, deep fryer boy. It will always be weird calling your significant other good girl or good boy. Like, ew. Like, I'm so serious. If I catch a single one of you saying that in Purgatory or the Kingdom or wherever, it's literally execution in the town square. Yes, it's almost done being built. Okay, I'm trying. Oh, God, dude. All dude. right. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Fine, whatever. This is what everybody wants to talk about. This is what happens. This is what I got to get myself involved in. This is what it. This is what it is. This is my responsibility to talk about it now. I can't hide forever. I don't like saying it. it. Makes me feel very uncomfortable. I'm just not a thirst trap kind of guy, and I think you know where I'm going with now. I guess us bikers now have uh, officially really claimed the book talk girls. And I guess I'm a part of that now. So yeah, because I. Have there's just something about hearing, I guess us guys, just claim the girls. It's just... Sir, the book talk girlies claim to you, biker boys. <laughs> it always goes right back to the trope that I always talk about with the book talk. It's always the same trope of, technically the man is stronger than the woman in every way, and they're dominant with the woman, um, and they force the woman into her place and everything, but... But the woman's still in control and she is feisty and she can still fight and she can still whatever. She's better than everyone, stronger than everyone, better than everyone. Except for him. 
And so they do everything to make them think. Like, yeah, the, the, the bike talk boys claim the book talk girls. But then once they say it, the girls realize how awful it sounds because it's not good. And they're like, actually, we claim you. Actually, we're the ones in control. And then the, the men are like, if you want to think that. And then they're like, <laughs> and it's like, this isn't healthy. So then I told her, ma'am, if you ever come back here, I'm going to have to call the police, which of course resulted in her screaming, actually crying. Like she, she was actually screaming and crying. I want to call your manager. I want to talk to your manager. I'm going to call corporate. All while her dog's literally jumping on everyone in the line. And I'm just like, hey, all I'm asking is that you leave for today. That's literally all I'm asking. I don't know. I'm just going to have to quit. Honestly, I don't know what else to do. You absolutely should. I don't know how you deal with people like that, but you've been doing it for years. I think it's time that you find something that you maybe like or that is just not as abusive. You need it for you. Yeah, it's just, you know, bills. I don't know how else I'm supposed to survive without this job, especially with how the economy is right now. So I don't know, but enough about me. Um, how's your boat coming along? I know that the deadline's coming up really soon, isn't it? Great. Well, as great as it can be with all the attention and time Ryan demands of me, I literally don't have any time to myself even to pee. He just gets jealous, you see. Yeah, honestly, uh, in all honesty, it's not been going very great. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach the deadline that I've set. Ever since I was four years old, I, I just wanted to hit this deadline ever since I was that age. And no other deadline. This is all I've ever wanted in my life. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach that because Ryan just, <laughs> he's just so clingy, you see. Jealous of a book he just hates that it takes so much time from us being together when that's the time that we could spend together instead he hates it when my attention is on anything or anyone but him it's crazy he's so clingy my friend that's not clingy that's ridiculous and if that's clingy that's unhealthy oh come on it's not like that wouldn't you want all of your lovers undivided attention and love besides we usually settle it with a round in the bedroom so it's all good though it does suck because then i can't write or work for weeks afterwards because of how long it takes for my hands to heal oh my god diane are you okay that's not okay you're blowing this out of proportion what you think i just let him push me around and abuse me no man can handle me you know that they wouldn't know what to do with me in their hands they want a sweet soft naive weak woman that's not me i'm different if you say so i guess Plus, you've never been into BDSM. You wouldn't get it. I feel like there's a difference between BDSM and abuse, but regardless if there is or not, abuse is abuse, and no amount of words used to describe it will change that. You're right, and this isn't abuse, so there's nothing to worry about then, is there? You don't know anything about the dynamics of BDSM, so maybe don't judge me until you're educated in it. Wait, didn't you just say that you're not submissive, but you're into BDSM and your behavior points to being a submissive? Like, even I know that. I'm only submissive in the way that that's the term I fall under in the BDSM world. I'm not weak. I don't take shit from anyone. I just like being thrown around in bed. There's that and then not allowing you to work and injuring your hands. He dominates you in all parts of your life, not just in the bedroom. He acts like your dad or something. Ash, trust me. He may like to get aggressive and do things like control who I see and who I talk to and what I wear when I leave the house. But remember, I'm the one in control. I run this ship. He may be dominant and controlling in the bedroom, but I'm the dominant in everything else. Hey, babe. Hi, baby. I missed you so much. I'm sorry I couldn't clean and cook. Ash decided to come over after not seeing each other for a year. I see that. We'll talk about that later. Okay, baby. I I'll make it up to you, I promise. Looks like I'm going to be getting punished tonight, huh? So much for writing anytime sooner getting that deadline done, right? I'm calling the authorities. Thank you for immediately proving my point. The men will always be like, no, you belong to us. We claim you because I'm the man, you're the woman. And the woman, the, the, the book talk women are okay with that as long as it's not explicitly said. It's like, it's okay as long as you don't talk about it. It's okay as long as I don't have to be aware of it. I film a single video about book talk. 
that doesn't make me get up and leave challenge M possible i walk away every single time i walk away every single time you know why because there's always a good reason it's always the infantilization wait that reminds me of this fucking video that i just got the other day of course it stems from pedophilia of course it does like think about it like actually think about it it stems from pedophilia and it's so weird the woman has the misogyny and pedophilia the the, the woman has she's tiny a little itty bitty and then the man's gigantic, he's dominant, she's submissive, but she's still in control. And she's still better than everyone, it's not him. And no one can dominate her. No one can handle her. Except for him. No one's good enough. No one's tougher than her. Except for him. Your backpack. You made your backpack mad. Because she's so tiny that when she holds on to him on the back of the motorcycle, she's like a backpack because she's so small. She's like a, one might say a Baby. <gasps> I should call her baby girl. <laughs> Zip up your- Like, this does not look good! Like, I don't know what this is supposed to be giving, but it just looks like- I don't know, gigantic love handles or something. Like, 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 like fake- love handles or like um like 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 a ball gown <laughs> i read the caption as book talk girls are growling on me and i was like well yeah because they're feral they're so feral they're feral in the way that cats are <laughs> they're feral in the way that cats are Ram. but guys they're feral in the way of wolves you better be careful you don't want the wolves come out. that's why the women are so cute because they're feral like cats they go ram ram. They get their little claws out. And then they're small. But then the men, they're big alpha wolves. And they're predators. Very be careful. But th they want to be prey. But the women want to be prey. <sighs> like, we will never be free from the shackles of gender stereotypes. When we don't check in with ourselves, when we don't ask ourselves why we like what we like or why we dislike what we dislike, that just only opens up a lot of problems because then you don't know why you're liking what you're liking and you don't know if there's an issue with it or if it's okay or if it's good or whatever. Thus completely missing or willfully ignoring the possibility or fact that something could be directly harmful because you like it and you don't want to change your mind because who cares? Not realizing that it does affect you. It is affecting you. And you just like don't realize it. And it's also really funny because I will also realize women like kind of want to just say book talk women, but I guess you'll know what I mean when I say that. So book talk women and, and women like that. It's like they see and realize the consequences of this behavior and they talk out about how they don't like it because it's misogynistic, all that stuff. But then they cheer on what makes that behavior like not realizing that it that leads to that behavior i'm always watching beautiful my red flag is that i think that's hot dark romance help so we all think this is hot why is this attractive to me What's though that? Thank you for just immediately proving my point. Stalking is bad. Creeping is bad. Harassing is bad. Spying is bad. However, if you do it to me, I will find it hot. However, it's just in fiction, obviously. If it actually happened to me, I wouldn't enjoy it. But if I see a video of a hot man talking about doing it, that's okay. I don't see how our brains don't make very clear connections and i try to not be judgmental and try to be understanding but when it's hurting others i don't care anymore because there is no effort being put in to understand you're not trying to understand you're just saying don't kink shame um if you don't like then just scroll don't like don't read and it's like as i've said there's a reason for everything we do everything for a reason we believe everything for a reason there's a reason behind everything that's how we work as humans so there is a reason why he would find this hot why he thinks this would be like a thirst trap to post online and also because he knows 
he knows if he posts it, he's going to get positive feedback because it is enjoyed. But then men actually do it, and then you're like, this is a horrible thing. Like, do you want men to read minds? My red flag is that I want a guy like this. But do you... For real, though, like, at least you know how loyal they are. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. I'm so glad that you like it. Most men aren't willing to participate in things women enjoy, especially books. I gotta say, I'm starting to understand why you guys read all the time, if this is what you're reading. Yeah, men seem to think that women aren't sexual creatures. Trust me. We are. I can see that. But, yeah, the fact that he cares about her so much that he's willing to keep an eye on her and do what's best for her even when she asks him not to, it's so sexy, honestly. And all women want is a man to take care of them, you know? I agree. I think all women need a man to help put them in their place, take care of them. Well, I don't know about that one. <laughs> but the best part of the entire thing, I think, is the loyalty. How loyal he is, how clearly loyal he is much he cares for her and how he only wants to be loyal to her and there's such little content on it especially when it's something that we all want all we ask for is loyalty the fact that he's so loyal that he watches out for her is honestly tantalizing you mean stalks her are you guys actually talking about ha right now is loyal to her is looking out for her do you mean stalks her breaks into her house and then assaults her when she asks him to stop you guys just don't get it. You guys always have to involve yourselves in our spaces. We're literally just talking to each other about it. If you're vanilla, just say that instead of kink spaces. You're literally in public, and this is a child's park. Hey man, get lost or I'll make you. Don't worry, baby, I got you. I totally understand. I don't know why loyalty is so underrated nowadays. You know, hookup culture has absolutely ruined us. What happened to just a man and a woman loving and trusting each other? Exactly. You know, I'd really like to get to know you some more. Same pigeon. Why don't you give me your address and we'll hang out sometime next week over this book that you just gave me. That sounds perfect. Three days later. Are you kidding? What do you think you're doing? What are you talking about, baby? What am I talking about? Maybe the fact that you broke into my house to install cameras and you've been watching me from across the street. I don't even know you. Are you actually stalking me, dude? I'm just looking out for you. You don't know what's best for you. I do. Trust me, pigeon. You're literally insane. You even bugged my phone, dude. Do I have any kind of privacy? Why would you need privacy? I thought you wanted a loyal man who took care of his woman. I'll take care of you. I'm not yours! I never asked for stalking! I was gonna say I read your mind and it's saying otherwise, but honestly it's just a stream of I wish this would stop, this is so hot, this is so awful, this is so good, and I'm honestly just confused now. Got your girl. You should have treated her right. Now she would have ripped and she love it over here. Yeah, I love it over here. You want her back? Too damn bad. Brother, ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? Why is no one hating? Because it's a cute video. Yeah, a cute video of her being a tiny little itty bitty baby girl. She could be like two years old for how small she is and how she acts like a kid but don't worry she's still legally an adult that reminds me that reminds me of the guys who will uh like like the, the girl in anime who literally looks under 10 years old i'm actually not kidding um but then be like well she's actually technically like over 200 years old because she's actually a vampire so it's actually fine because she's actually way older than i am this is like the equivalent and he's the daddy like like literally this job is not for everyone the hands it's all fun and games and jokes on social media but this shit is dangerous what will you do when you find out dark romance book talk calls him a collar wait till he learns what a pearl necklace is that's the video book talk and bike talk are overwhelmingly horny to like um an unhealthy and dangerous extent. I go more into depth uh, with this on this in my book talk video. When women will shame men for not being able to control themselves and letting their horniness um, and their like arousal and just like sexual whatever, um, like control them and make them uh, affect everyone else, make everything sexual. 
but then become book talk girls and do the exact same thing, except it's not bad because they're girls and they don't do any harm, right? It's okay that they do it because they're girls, not women, because they're always girls, baby girls. But because a man does it, it's bad. It has the same effect. <laughs> a good example of how gender roles and stereotypes rule everything. That is why women think that they can't do any harm because there's also the gender stereotype that men are um, dangerous and uh, abusive and all these things and that women are always uh, the victim. Um, and while obviously it's fact that men commit the, the most crimes against women and all that stuff that we already know, it doesn't mean that women can't make other people the victim and be the perpetrator themselves. And these women feed into it. They don't realize it, but they completely feed into the issue. So it's like they're saying, this is bad. How dare you do this? Except the you that they're talking about is themselves and they don't even realize it. Anyway, I did notice that all of these were the bike talk men talking about the book talk women. So how about we do part one, part two. This is part one, the men. And then we'll do part two, the women. So so this is the, the bike talk men talking about book talk uh, women. And then we'll do another video of, see, it was supposed to be one video turned into two. How did your vote fare? Were you correct or were you not? Because we didn't see any book talk and bike talk weddings yet. Anyways, if you made it to this part of the video, comment a motorcycle, of course, a book, of course, and the sighing emoji, because you know, just, <sighs> if you liked the video, press the like button. If you didn't like the video, press the like button, because unfortunately for you and not for me, the dislike button doesn't exist. But do remember to be a good person and not a bad one, obviously. Because it is the one rule of this kingdom, the one law of this kingdom. It's really not that hard. And also remember that I will not see you, but you will see me next time. Of course, because again, that's how videos work. He's just being tiny, baby. He's just tiny. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs>